The holidays are upon us, which means it's a pretty good time to talk about all the people in our lives that make adhering to a healthy plant-based diet almost impossible. I'll explain. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. I have been following a vegan diet since 2013, which means I'm going on 10 years in January. I can't believe it, I hadn't even realized. But out of those 10, only seven have been eating a healthy plant-based diet. I never realized for the longest time, three years, there was a difference between eating a vegan diet and a healthy whole plant food diet, like the ones that we talk about constantly on this YouTube channel, recipes and all that good stuff. I know it's been like 205 years since I've done a plant rant, but I am back. Well, okay, no promises, I'll try to get back into the habit. But anyway, today I wanted to talk about social pressure. Social pressure refers to the pressure that we may not even notice is happening at first from the people in our lives that make following a healthy plant food diet very difficult because they're always like, what's the big deal? Have a bite, it's just one bite, live a little, all of that BS. It can sometimes be pretty difficult to deal with these kinds of people, especially if you're not a very disagreeable person who's willing to just stand their ground and tell people to piss off. And if you're one of those people, then the absolute best way to deal with social pressure is to avoid it altogether. So let's role play a little bit or whatever. You're at the holiday dinner, whatever it is, Thanksgiving, Christmas, who knows, and you have to take your own food because that's pretty much what we do. If you want to eat healthy food at the holidays, you've got to take your own food, make it at home, keep it warm. These are little systems that we have to build into our life. If we want to keep seeing the people in our lives that are important to us, our extended family, for example, who don't eat like us. So you're at the family dinner, you pull out this beautiful food that you've made and people start noticing, especially if you're brand new to this way of eating and they don't already know that you eat this new way. They may be used to you eating the old way, like them, for decades and decades. So as soon as they see this food and there's no turkey or whatever on your plate, then they may have some questions for you. And they may not be purposely trying to get under your skin or they definitely may be trying to get under your skin. It's certainly possible there are a lot of people like that in our lives and the best thing to do with those people is to avoid them altogether. If you can just like not show up to things when those people are around, that would be best. But then that means you might be giving up on the hangouts with the people that you actually like. So the best thing you can do is not bring up the food that you eat. Don't talk about it. Don't be the person that starts the conversation. A lot of new people to this way of eating, I was one of them when I first started, love to just shout from the rooftops about their diet because you want to save everybody in your life. You know the magic secret to good health and you think, all I've got to do is mention this real quick and they'll be like, wait, really? I'm in. It does not work that way. I promise you, it works that way with almost zero people. Get through this stage as quickly as you possibly can. The stage where you like want to tell everybody about this new way of eating that you're doing. Try to just remove the way of eating from your identity. In fact, why wouldn't you? It's not really part of our identity. This is just the way that we eat because we like good health. We never even had to make these decisions thousands of years ago. This is all we had. So my recommendation to you would be save the food conversations for the other people that already eat like you. If people around you are really intuitively asking questions, they like genuinely want to know a little bit about what you're doing, then give them a really basic rundown. Oh, I'm, I've been experiencing some health uh, things and my doctor recommended that I change my diet for a little while and we'll see what happens. The big picture here at the end of the day is that you don't want to take status from people. You don't want to make them feel bad about the way they're eating because of the way you're eating. That is a recipe for disaster and really bad relationships. Ask me, I know. You're opening yourself up either for an argument about this food topic or about any unrelated topic that comes up the rest of the night because you've damaged their ego. Just avoid that. Be smarter than them and play the game a little bit. Make it sound a little wishy-washy is honestly what I'm trying to say. Be like, you know, it seems like this is working for me right now. You can yuck it up here. Oh, I miss that. It looks so good. Oh, it smells delicious. Even though it smells like poison and you'd like to cork your nostrils. If you're taking food to the party and you're able to put it out on the table with everything else, hopefully that's the case. I've been in a lot of situations, one where I had to put my food in the garage. It was not great. If everybody has access to your food, then don't make a big deal. It's not gonna look any different from the side dishes that are all around the table anyway. So you don't have to say, oh, this is a, a vegan mashed uh, potatoes, or this is a vegan potato salad, or sweet, whatever. Just leave the word plant-based or vegan or whatever out of the conversation. If they wanna know what it is, it's potatoes. Enjoy. 
So let's talk about some of the things people might say. Like I said, they might start by asking, you know, is this plant based? Where do you get your protein? Don't your bones need calcium and dairy to do this? You may think that they actually want the answers to those technical questions. You're wrong. 99% of the people do not. If you have an actual good answer for them, it's only going to make it worse. You need to lose this conversation and move on from it. Don't try to change the world. You can't do it anyway. Let people come to this information. This is the whole reason why I have this channel is because I got sick of trying to change everybody to my way of eating. Now I have a channel and the people who want to hear it come to me. I've stopped mentioning my diet or the way I eat to any human person in real life face-to-face -face situations. It's not going to happen. You can try to bait me. I'm not going there. If you really wanted to, if you felt the absolute need, you could say, you know what, check out a book called The Starch Solution. I hope you like it. Do not give them a free copy of the book. Anything that people get for free goes in the garbage. They need to actually care and want it. Eventually you're going to want to find some people in your life that eat like you, but they may not be at this gathering and so that's just the way it is. You keep looking for the best friends of your life that are going to share your lifestyle choices so that you can jam about all these things that are so important to you. My health is very important to me. I'm happy to talk about it. I like talking about the food. It's just that I don't want to do it day in day out. That is how you deal with social pressure is you don't fall for the bait. You've been here for long enough that you know all the traps that are getting set for you don't fall in. And if you do decide to have a bite of naughty food, whether it was your own choice or you're giving into social pressure, remember that you need to get right back on track. This is a great time to do our one month challenge, which is on our website. Uh, go to the free downloads button there and download our one month challenge. I'll try to do more plant rants for you. No promises. It would help if you give me some encouraging comments down below. If you like this format of video, I like to do them as often as I do the recipe videos. If you want to see some of my old plant rants, you can click right here and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I love you. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.